So here is my beautifully firmed up chocolate mixture. And what I'm going to do is I've got some roasted hazelnuts here and I'm going to encase that hazelnut in a bit of chocolate mixture. And I'm going to roll it in some ground up hazelnuts. And that is one of the truffles we are making today. So you've got smooth with texture. I use my fingertips because they are the coolest part. My palms are far too hot. And for me, it's just far less messy than using my whole hand. I am working in the sun, so best I work quickly to create these beautiful chocolate truffles. And I don't like them even. I quite like the unevenness of using just the palm, the, the fingertips. Because it says a lot about it. It's handmade, made with lots of love. So this will be coated in the ground up hazelnuts. And hazelnut is such a beautiful, beautiful, flavoursome nut. I suppose they all are, but this is my favourite nut, hazelnut. Second to that is pistachios. Oh, I love pistachios, but who can afford pistachios now? I always try and have hazelnuts in my fridge. Freezer, in fact, because that is where I store my nuts. I don't keep them in a, in a jar unless we're eating them on a daily basis. But for my special nuts, I keep them in the freezer and take it out as I need it. So this lot I took out and I just roasted them in a pan, dry roasting. So these are my hazelnut truffles. And the next one, because it's winter time, I'm going to be using oranges, just the orange rind. So to finish these off, gently going to press them into the hazelnuts like that and into a paper case and these will go back into the fridge to firm up So these are beautifully nutty, 70% hazelnut truffles. Couldn't think of a better way to celebrate chocolate. And the very same chocolate mixture, equal quantities of chocolate and cream, which at the end of the day is a ganache you can use to make the most decadent hot chocolate and I mean decadent it is beautiful you do not have a big mug full because that will just be rude and you actually won't feel very well at the end of it but you have a beautiful small cup of hot chocolate you melt the ganache in the chocolate and it is a thick hot chocolate Right, so those are the hazelnut truffles. And now, onto the orange truffles. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to spoon out a bit of this mixture. And because I'm working in the sun, it doesn't make it easy. Because although the sun is not hot, it's warm enough to cause chaos. And I'm going to take an orange and just zest it. just the outside once on the grater and you turn it and that is filled with all those orange oils that is just magical just once and turn it and 
And I'm just going to try and work this in because I don't want to soften the mixture too much because then it's complicated to work with it. And I don't know what happened to my fork. So let me just use the back of the spoon and just work it in a little bit. And these are just going to be rolled in cocoa powder. See, I'm trying to avoid the whole tempering of chocolate. So that's about as much as I want to work it in because it'll get far too soft. And I've got some cocoa powder here. And I'm just going to drop dollops into the cocoa powder. It is getting quite soft already which is not ideal, but it is what it is. And that cocoa powder will just help me shape it without it becoming all sticky. There we go. And I work with basic utensils. Nothing fancy needed, your spoons, your forks, just nothing fancy needed. And just gently, that is how I'm going to do it. Oh, the smell, the smell. It is so orangey, it is beautiful. See, so if you were to use your whole hand, it would become impossible to work with. You'll be wasting quite a lot of chocolate mixture because it will be stuck to your hand. You don't want that. And that's the reason I use my fingertips. And just light, gentle movements. And the cocoa helps. The cocoa is bitter, so it is beautiful for that orange rind. So this one, not as textured as the hazelnut, but just beautiful. Just want to finish these on the plate. Listen to the birds. I have so many beautiful birds in my garden. I am truly blessed. And that is my donation to World Chocolate Day hazelnut truffles and orange truffles and these will go into the fridge to firm up and they are going to be beautiful for dessert tonight please go and try it it is so easy the most important fact being that you use really really good chocolate so please go and give it a try thank you